Good morning. Let me tell you something about Devil Jinn, right? He's always been the top tier, but in Tekken 7... I have nothing! No one! Alright! But in Tekken 8, there's hope for our Devil Man. The buffs have come, but also some nerfs. Let's get into it. So the single Hell Sweep no longer launches, and a new way to combo from it is... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we just gonna act like this man didn't walk into a shopping center and steal the whole outfit? Devil Jin looks sick in this game. The Castlevania look and his alternative costume with the aviator jacket too clean man and the way he screams now he actually sounds like he's pissed and it's so much more powerful <laughs> So his single Hell Sweep no longer launches, the new way to combo from the Hell Sweep is you Hell Sweep and there's a laser follow up 1 plus 2 and no matter what range the Hell Sweep makes contact, this laser follow up will always connect. Tekken 7 would have you whiff your follow up if you were too far away but this isn't an issue for Devil Jin anymore, it's a good buff. You can still go for the 4 follow up if you don't want the combo. He has a new crouch dash move, crouch dash 1 plus 2, it's a homing minus 9 on block mid. This move will only knock down a wall splat without heat but whilst heat is activated you'll get an automatic laser follow-up that leads to a combo. I managed to get 65 damage. This makes his Hell Sweep mix-up quite scary in heat because the spin animation on this move disguises itself as a Hell Sweep and you can't sidestep to avoid it because it's a homing move. The range isn't very good though and it's susceptible to counter hit as it's quite slow. Up forward 4 is now a heat engager. It still doesn't knock down on normal hit so I have a feeling that they want you to use crouch dash 1 plus 2 or while standing 2 in your Hell Sweep mix-up. Forward forward 2 is also a heat engager which is pretty good, still a frame slower than Jin's though. Devil Jin has a new flying stance, it's called Mounting Crow. Future Thai speaking here, it's not Mounting Crow, it's Morning Crow. I clearly can't read. So whenever I say Mounting Crow, just know that it's Morning Crow. This stance is used for combos, but also can be used to pressure the opponent. There are three options from this stance, all of them are mids. He has Mounting Crow 2 1 plus 2, which is a homing heat engager. It's minus 14 on block. You can do the 2 by itself to mix your opponent up a little bit, but it is minus 13 on block. He has 1, which is a plus 9 on block mid that also spikes on hit. This move can be sidestepped though. And finally he has Mountain Crow 4. I don't think you'd use this in the neutral only for combos. It's minus 29 mate. Your opponent can google the move before you finish recovering. But I feel like the main move that Mountain Crow was built for is forward 1 plus 4. This is a new high where Devil Jin throws out chains and the range is humongous. The crazy thing about this move though is if you hit it you're plus 16 so the Mountain Crow 2 is guaranteed. If your opponent blocks the chains and you're plus 11, so in both instances, whether the chain hits or gets blocked, Devil Jim will go into Mountain Crow and fly towards them automatically. I like to think that you could do Mountain Crow into nothing and maybe get a sneaky down 4 in or something. But yeah, it's an interesting new move. You can duck and sidestep it, but it has whiff punish potential, even though the startup's a little slow, and the range on that is just crazy. <laughs> His while standing 1 4 no longer knocks down, but it potentially sets him up for a Hell Sweep mix up, and it's still wall splats anyway. Down back 2 is now 21 frames, it's 1 frame faster than Tekken 7, but it no longer does anything on counter hit. It's still plus 3 on hit and minus 13 on block. I was surprised to find that he still has his old down forward 2, but it does nothing on counter hit. It's strange to me that Jin's down forward 2 is more devil like than devil Jin's, it feels like this should be swapped over. Actually, no, I take that back, I'm a Jin main with the best and we deserve the best moves. Down forward 1 2 is no longer a mid mid, it's now a mid high. Hitting the down forward 1 as a counter hit will guarantee the 2, and if the high hits, it will knock down a wall splat. You can't hit confirm the down forward 1 into 2. You do have the option to delay the 2 a lot, but of course, your opponent can duck and launch. I do think Devil Jin needed a counter hit tool like this, but the old down forward 1 2 was really good. I'm not sure how to feel about this, let me know what you think in the comments. Forward 1 plus 2 can no longer be cancelled, but it's now only 
minus 12 on block. Back 1, 2 can still be cancelled though and it's still the same. Down back 1 plus 2 at full charge gives a guard break and you're plus 10. So you get a free 1, 1, 2 if your opponent blocks it. I love this move. I'm going to abuse this at the wall so much. Down forward 1 plus 2 is now back 1 plus 2 and it's only minus 1 on block. It was minus 4 before. He has a crazy back swing blow heat engager up back 3. It's minus 18 on block but look at that evasion. I didn't test his combos much but this is what you could do from an electric. He has a new extender, 1 plus 4, 2, and this is really good for catching people who are low to the ground. And at the wall, he has back forward 2, 1, 4, 1 plus 2. This is probably his new wall combo. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 